Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this blustery afternoon for this soccer matchup between the Valley Vikings visiting here at the Cast and Comets. I'm Blair Zimmerman, and I'm being joined up here on the top of the press box uh, for his first broadcast by Jake Passion. Jake, good to have you with me today. Yeah, I think it'll be a fun time. It's definitely a windy one. <laughs> it, absolutely. So we do apologize for the wind noise, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully it's worse to us than it is to you. Uh, but we've unfortunately, our, uh, our cameraman had some mechanical difficulties, so I'm having to pull some double duty up here. So I'll apologize in advance for any shoddy camera work. It's not my normal role. And uh, But Jake used to play com yeah, Comet yeah. Soccer uh, in junior high, so I've worked hard in the course of the last week to try to get somebody who knows the sport. So, uh, Jake, have you had any opportunity to talk to the uh, guys and gals and see how they feel, felt about tonight's matchup? Uh, yeah, I've talked to Bailey. He said it was going to be a. He thought it was going to be a good game, and hopefully they can come out with a win. I uh, I had an opportunity to talk to Coach Sanchez today, yeah. who, who did issue his sincere apologies, ladies and gentlemen, for not joining us last weekend. Uh, he found out last minute that there was that uh, junior varsity match, and so he wasn't able to wasn't able to join us for that post game interview. Uh, but tonight there's no varsity or JV matchup. He does plan to be up here, and uh, I had an opportunity to talk to him today about the matchup, and he said uh, that they have a really that the Comets have a really solid shot of coming out victorious, and it's just going to be a matter of everybody being in their place and doing what they know they need to do. Yeah, I think it'll be a good game. This win, are we sure we're not down in Florida? <laughs> yeah, for real. No, no. <laughs> Seriously, if any of you at home have friends and family uh, in Florida preparing for the landfall of the hurricane, our thoughts and prayers are with them. Yeah, I know they're uh, they're in for a rough weekend for sure. We have a lot of seniors this year, yeah, more than I, usual. I was looking at that uh, the senior banners, and uh, of course we've got Noah How to Show, who was conference MVP last year, and uh, we've got several all conference caliber players, and uh, definitely those uh, last week the seniors were super instrumental in that uh, victory yeah. against uh, Rochester. All right. And you may not be able to hear it at home, but we are going to be quiet here for a minute for the National Anthem. I'm excited to watch this game. This is going to be a good game. I think it will be a good game. And every time I watch a soccer match, I I can't help but think of how incredible it is that they basically do two sets of 40-minute sprint drills, some of these guys and gals. there. Yeah. Some of them will be out on the pitch the whole game, and I just cannot fathom that. It's definitely a walkout. <laughs>
All right, getting ready to go. Notice they're being aggressive right off the bat. The strikers are going in. Comet's getting in there and taking possession. Oh, I had a good save. Jake, I just realized I forgot to grab us rosters. I have no idea of any of the Valley players' names. Oh, yeah, I don't either. <laughs> uh, I just know all of our players. <laughs> I'm doing good with that half the time. You think that the people that I, you know, see every day. You get used to it. Some, some, of, the, some of the guys I coach on the cross-country team, you'd think I'd be able to rattle names right off, and you'd be absolutely wrong. Yeah. That was a good save by Bailey. He almost got the ball. Bailey's, I'll tell you what, last uh, last Thursday I just noticed he, he he's definitely not afraid to go oh in yeah, there. Yeah. He, he's just an aggressive keeper. That's that's what they need. It's a good thing to have an aggressive keeper, especially since he's only a sophomore. He can only get better. I'm not sure if that was a handball or what that was. I couldn't tell. Bailey getting a little bit more running in there than a uh, keeper usually does. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know where the ball boy is at. Luke and Brady got some good teamwork going up and down the field. That was a good shot by Brady. Jonathan almost gets the rebound. was a good save there on the part of uh, Valley's keeper. Yeah, that was a good, it was, yeah. This uh, crosswind there just worked really badly against Bailey. Uh, that ball went up, and we've got this yeah, really against stiff it, yeah. kind of west wind. It definitely has no, no advantage. Now that that is the nice thing on the field is that this is a fair wind. It's it's not benefiting one team any more than the other. No.
That was a good kick in by 23 on Valley. That's hard to do. There's that wind. As it blows me over, you over, the camera over. That's insane, yeah. Good save by Wyatt. No one's going three on one against a valley. Valley. Another good save. Seems Jonathan dribbled out of bounds. Yeah, he looked pretty frustrated with himself there. I, I think he just lost track of where he was on the pitch. Yeah, it was accidental. That was a good decision. Now he can to let the ball roll out of bounds. Now he has more control and where he can kick it. Right. It's so windy. Oop. Lost track of where I was on the camera. I told you guys I was going to do that. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, Jake, there was one time I was covering the camera for just five minutes. Mm -hmm. And it was during a basketball game. Yeah. And I completely forgot that I was supposed to be on the camera. Oh, so they <laughs> saw a nice one side of the court. Correct. <laughs> and I'm talking about action that was on the other side of the court. I just... I got lost in what was going on. It was a really intense basketball game, and next thing you know, I happened to glance at the uh, at the production camera, computer, yeah. and all I see was hardwood. Seems like Noah Hottishell usually just stays down the field. Never really comes back.
That was a good move. That was a good move yeah. by Outer Shell, yeah. How to get him off of him. Kick clear up and over the goal, which is doubly impressive because he was about kicking into the wind. Yeah, he definitely had some kick strength. That was a good drive. Overrun. The Valley Defenders are tough, man. Some nice flow work there. That was a good take. Good save too. Nah, I thought I thought we had it. Thought we were putting some points on the board. It's hard to keep the ball right at your feet when there's a guy trying to get it from you. It takes a lot of practice. Uh seems like Alex got a hold head, but. Hopefully they're both okay. Well, and with the trainer out on the field, we're gonna take just a moment and step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned, you're watching Comets Soccer on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got uh, all players up and on their feet. Looks like Brady Evans came in for Alex. Brady's, okay. Brady's having a pretty good freshman season so far. It's a big jump. I know that. This is going from junior high to sophomore, or from junior high to freshman. Yeah, it's. A smart junior high player starts trying to work out with the yeah, as high school teams grader. as much as they can, but... And of course not every, you know, that's an advantage that we have here at a smaller school is that a junior hire can get that time with the varsity coaches where at a bigger corporation obviously they don't, yeah, they don't a lot have that more contact yeah. yeah Intercepted by Jellison there. Yeah, he had a good kick in too. That was 
It almost got to the player. It was almost perfect. Having not been a soccer player, I imagine it, it's difficult to start getting that calibration in where you kick it hard enough, not too hard. Yeah, it's definitely just it's like practice with anything, I guess. Yeah, probably. I just it's definitely not easy. You'd think kicking in the goal would be easy. It's so big, but it's harder than it looks. Oh, got a ball right to the face. Yeah, he got Jellison tried to intercept it, intercept the ball, and he just plum hit it in the valley's player's face. Ah, okay. That never feels good. No. I think they even subbed him out. He must got hit hard. Unless they were doing that as a precautionary measure. Yeah, I guess, because if he has a concussion or something. Right. We had Val down here, uh, here talking to him uh, in the press box last week, and mm -hmm. uh, Aubrey was actually making a comment about concussions in soccer. <laughs> you know, because everybody hears about concussions in football, obviously. There's a lot of them in soccer, headbutting and everything. Yeah, and that was something that Val told us off air, was that there are more concussions in football, uh, but the ones in soccer tend to be more severe. Well, like, oh, okay, well, makes good sense. Yeah, head to head or even the ball, that's, that's, they kick it with force and it's not good. Rattles your brains about a little bit. Seems to be a push off on Jellison. <laughs> Ran into Hode. Well, you know, when you're going full bore for something, sometimes you just can't get stopped. Yeah. Shell's really taking control. Passes it to Colby. Well done by Lau, breaking off that drive towards the goal. And sometimes it helps the goalie a little bit if you just the player just takes control, and the goalie doesn't have to worry. They can just sit back a little bit. Twenty-three minutes left in the first half. Good passing. 
Conway pushing it up. Maybe a goal? Ah, oh, intercepted. That was good defense. Nice defense there by number 23 of Valley. That was a good save. I know Jonathan, he's extremely talented. And every shot he takes is hard to sh stop. Looked like Braden was almost trying to score it on the corner kick. Kick ahead by Noah. To Noah. Looks like a run by Valley. Good defense by Wyatt. Yeah, and shot clear over the goal. That was a perfect kick by Bailey. Good save by Wyatt. Good footwork. Someone lost a shoe, number nine on Valley. No one's got a clear shot. a good chance for Valley to score. Good save there by Bailey. 
Just getting right up there and getting the ball out of play. an obvious pushover. <laughs> that was a good shot by Alex. It just didn't in, I guess. Well, again, that was a good look, though. I think he, it, it was part of that was the wind direction. When you look at how the ball arced after it went up. Yeah. And just looking over here at the flag, I'd say we're dealing with a, a 17 to 20 mile an hour wind. That absolutely can change the play of a lot of things. Good save. Ben is racking up some serious saves. Just over 15 minutes left in this first half. Both teams still scoreless. Alex being aggressive, that's always good. Aggressiveness is a key to any sport, really. Unless you get too aggressive, start throwing elbows in basketball, you know, then that's... Yeah, that is too much, yeah. <laughs> that's frowned on. Not that we haven't seen that in years past. <laughs> I was going to say, it looked like the ball went out of bounds. Rogers in there playing some hard defense, trying to get that ball away. I don't think Emily was expecting that. <laughs> Looks like we might have some subs coming in. Shoots over the goal again. Seems like that's the trend for tonight. Yeah, <laughs> there's been a lot of <laughs> over and missing there on the east side. Yeah, but today, like you said, wind is a big part.
Mm. Looks like to be a push from Kasten. Man, that was a good forward by seven. That was a nice touch, especially off his back foot. Zimbleman getting up there again, getting the ball to play. Colby showing some good speed, get in front of him. This could be a good opportunity for casting the score. boots it out. Sometimes that's just about the best move you have as a defender. Yeah, just, just get it as far as way as you can, yeah. You're not going to get a good goal look from the 50-yard line of the football field. No, no. chance to talk to Luke. Uh, I feel like it was earlier in the week. Maybe it was late last week. Mm -hmm. He uh, he had a couple of throw-ins last Thursday where uh, he'd made eye contact with his recipient. Oh, that's never they, good. <laughs> they turned around. <laughs> that always just, you know, makes you excited when we locked eyes. Then you throw it to the person and then they're not paying any. Exactly. Hits yeah. them in the back of the head or something. Got some good looks. Mm. Deflected by the Valley Defender. Looks like he's looking for a call on that. Ref's letting it go. Yeah. It didn't look like there was anything. Why comes up the middle? Seems to trip. now left in this first half. I 
believe how much of a roll that kick just got. Yeah, that, <laughs> this wind is insane. You definitely didn't mean to kick it that far. Substitution in Valley. Very fall kick, man. This wind seems to be shifting now. It's uh, just a little bit more southerly than it used to be, which is uh, definitely at, well, I wouldn't say exactly a valley's advantage, but it's to their backs. They're not having to run through it, that's for sure. Yeah. Emily Hole with some good defense. Nice footwork there by Noah How to Yeah, show. very nice. Kick ahead look intended to be to Edco. Four and a half minutes left in the half. Both teams working hard trying to not go into halftime at goose eggs, but <laughs> Yeah, it's no score yet. It's been a pretty evenly balanced game, I think. Yeah, back and forth constantly. Why does it seem to have had a handball? Yeah, that that's what would mess me up in soccer is uh be like, oh, I just grabbed this, and oh, no, yeah, I it's, can't, can't do that. <laughs> if you've never played it before, it's hard to get used to not just grabbing the ball. I'm telling you what, once again, that, that kick just went something like 60 yards, and then Zimpleman's was doing good to get 40. Yeah. This wind is ridiculous. Actually, I think Zimpleman only got about 35 yards on that kick. For Casson to score, they're definitely going to have to put some power on it because the wind will take it all off. Short, sharp passes will be about the order of the day kicking in towards this south goal over here. Which, since you don't have a compass on your screen at home, that'd be the one off to the right. I don't think Braden kept his foot down.
Good comments defense down there. That was good. Staying with him. Almost like a basketball position. Yeah, really. Under two minutes left in the half. Oh. Seems a push off on Valley. No one might even go for the goal here. I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to have to put some serious power on it, kicking into that wind. I doubt he will. Wind died down. Oh, no, the, oh that it. was a close thing, too. A little bit low, and the goalie wouldn't have even been able to stop it. <laughs> I was, yeah. I didn't see any way that the refs like couldn't blow the whistle on the that. The yellow coat, even man. That that was a full fledged shoulder check, though. Yeah, he definitely could have slowed down a little bit. That was not a small play. Valley with the wind at their back. This. This could be it. This could be what breaks yeah. the breaks the scoreless streak. Less than 10 seconds left in the half, too. That'd be frustrating. Good save. Nice save by Zimpleman. He's in the perfect position. That was good. And that's the half, ladies and gentlemen. Still scoreless. Still scoreless going into halftime. We're going to take a break. Thank our sponsors for their sponsorship. We'll be back here in 10 minutes. Go get yourself a snack. Get you something to drink. Come right back. You're watching Comet Soccer on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. 
Download the app today and start watching. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi-Fi. Here's why. Wi-Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data, which can slow you down. Luckily, small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service. Backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider, working hard to be a good neighbor. Ever wonder why your local TV bill keeps going up? The bulk of these increases are due to rising network fees. A few powerful media companies dictate what TV providers must pay to offer their channels to you. And every time networks demand more money, that affects what you pay every month. If TV providers don't meet their demands, networks threaten blackouts. Since 1999, these network fees have increased by three and a half times the rate of inflation. To see what we're doing to keep network fees in check, visit TVOnMySide.com. think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet, and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming back from halftime here on Caston TV on RTC TV4. And uh, Noah Howdeshell lining up for the kickoff in this still scoreless game. So, uh, Jake, you think, uh, think it'll change anything for the Comets having the wind at their backs? I think it'll help them a lot, honestly, because they've had a lot of chances to score. But every time they shoot it, just like they oh, got to yeah. kick the thing. Oh, yeah, they, they've had to boot it. And we saw several times, but they're going to have to keep that in mind as far as how, you know. They don't want to kick it too hard now. Right, yeah. because they've been kicking into the wind. And we saw in the first half a couple of times where Valley uh, absolutely yeah, overpowered to, yeah. the ball because yeah. they weren't weren't accounting for that wind. How to show taking control of mid pitch. Looks like Noah Rogers might be a striker now. Seems like they're interchangeable. Him and Jonathan Pacheco. He's feeling that. <laughs> that ball went straight up. Mm. Like a slide tackle almost. chance how to show going three on one yeah he's getting overcrowded yeah they gotta account for that a lot yeah that straight up and over that ball's gone and again this wind is up here where we are it's it's kind of a, a westerly southwesterly wind but down there on the pitch I'm looking at the corner flags. Yeah, they're going and straight. It's been redirected. It's almost a straight south wind right into the valley goal. That was good defense. Oh, I think Wyatt might have gotten on the slide. Looks like he's okay. He needs to be okay. He's got a county cross country meet on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, my hat is absolutely off to these two sports single season athletes. That's a ridiculous amount of, of effort that they put in maintaining two varsity sports in one season. And as a coach of one of those sports, I, I just have to express my gratitude and respect to Coach Sanchez that he works so well with me on uh, trying, trying to keep these athletes in top shape for both sports. This camera is shaking. Holy, <laughs> it is windy. 
Well, unfortunately, here five minutes into the second half, there's uh, still, still not a lot action. Yeah, there's not a lot to report with that scoreboard camera right now. It is fun to watch a uh, final shootout, though. And ball pass to nobody in the state. Yeah, literally. Is Kagan a senior? She's a senior. Senior. She this is. Year. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's a lot of them. I, I guess not a lot, but like, I think we have four seniors down on the pitch. Maybe five. Good look. Uh, over kick off size. Mm, that was a good look. Colby should have waited just a little bit longer. Solid kick there into the wind. Mm. Oh, compensate. Nice stop there by Noah Rogers. That was a good tone. Noah has a shot. Uh, and it's overshot. That's a little high on that one. Yeah. Back to Noah. Noah could have a shot. Man, this. <laughs> Holy. And you can see the frustration on how to show his face. He did a really good job judging the wind on his uh, other kick on the other direction. And then. It's like trying to shoot a basketball in a tornado. <laughs> Except you're using your feet this time. <laughs> That's gonna be, that's gonna be broad broadcast quote of the year right there. <laughs> Shooting a basketball in a tornado using your feet. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You only get quality commentary like that here on Casting TV. That's right. On RTC TV <laughs> four. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, Jake. Uh, one of the first couple of football games that uh, I covered last year, mm -hmm. I said something about the ball being on the 53-yard line. So <laughs> didn't even nice. catch it until the next time out. We went to commercial, and everybody else in the press box just gave it to me. So <laughs> no worries, man. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, after giving me all of the hard time about it, they confessed to all having done the same thing. Yeah, I was going to say. Good defense being played by Valley down here. Mm, that landed perfectly for Noah. At least he didn't overshoot it. He yeah. to compensate it. <laughs> I think he was planning on the wind that time. Yeah, and there was and no the, wind. The wind there died no down wind. just a little bit. Just can't win. Either prep for a win that doesn't show up, or you don't prep and there's all of it. And yeah. And next thing you know, you're kicking a field goal.
lost one of the soccer balls, actually. <laughs> Pretty sure it went into the field. I I could see that. Much wind as we as we're having right now. Another good look. Oh, no, he got. The defender came in. It's kind of amazing how quickly the situation changes down there on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> wide open goal. No, w wide nowhere. open. As soon as you get the, the pass actually to you, then you're not you wide open. Turn around, three guys. You definitely have to make your own space. That was a good pass right to John. Good look, really good look for Comets. Goal! Oh. Passing Comets. Never thought it would happen. <laughs> How to shell with that one. Of course, that's a little behind his hat trick he had by this point last week, but. Yeah, yeah. That was a good look, that was a good teamwork. I don't remember who passed to Jonathan, but passed to Jonathan, passed to Howdy Show. Goal. Defense by Wyatt. Mm, that's way out of bounds. Coach Sanchez with the handball there. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Maybe looking like another good streak. Comes up from behind them. That was. Push yellow card maybe. He's pulling out. Yep, yellow card. Yellow card on that one. You know, how does Shell nearly got that penalty kick on the other end into the wind? Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if he's gonna be able to. <laughs> you're gonna use the this wind, one. Use the wind and just sail it straight in. I have seen someone score it from the 40 yard line. Good kick. Ooh, oh. just to the left. <laughs> How to shove throwing his head back like like anybody really anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> A 30 yard goal kick. But you know what? Every great athlete expects a lot out of themselves, so Yeah.
I feel like if I was kicking ahead into this win like that, I would have aimed more towards center field. Yeah. Yeah. Which it might not be as bad on the field, but up here there's a lot of wind. I would assume that it's I don't the know. same. I'm looking at those corner flags, and it still looks like they've some got decent wind. plenty of wind going on down there. Mm, I thought he was going to shoot. I figured he'd shoot it. That was a good look. That was actually probably a good decision because now everyone's back instead of a one on one. Oh boy. Goal by North Valley. Not North Valley, bro. Tippy North Valley. Valley. Tippy, Tippy Valley. Valley. I meant to say Tippy, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's nice. And it ties it up 1 1. Just under 25 minutes left in the game. Good luck. Good footwork. He's staying with him though. Mm. Sails to the right. It's pretty amazed at how to shell dribbling between all those defenders. Yeah. Four on one and he kept possession. Good look by Braden. Mm. The defender caught up, was able to block the oh. shot. Looks like Braden may have gone shin to shin with him. Seems as if they forgot to add the point to the valley. <laughs> Hopefully they do that. Tippy, Tippy Valley, not North Valley. Uh, they are to the north, in fairness. Yeah, I don't. I didn't know why I said that. by Colby Pugh there to keep it in bounds. Shot by Colby, I think he slipped before he hit it.
Pushing the back mirror, yeah. Neither team can definitely not afford another yellow card. Nicely intercepted by How to Show. Yeah. Just under 20 minutes left in the game. All tied up one to one. Our uh, friends down below us in the press box have uh, still forgotten to update the score. I happen to know the young lady who's running the timer. I'm going to have to give her a hard time. Jonathan might have a look. It seems like he's being guarded well. Good footwork by Luke. Did have a shot. I don't think he wanted to take it. Looking for Noah on the backside. Kassen's doing a really good job of keeping it. Well, as I say that. <laughs> got good dribbling skills.
little bit more than 15 minutes left on the timer. This has been overall a pretty even game. Kick ahead, Bailey slides in. Now that should be no call. Wow. Bailey got clothesline. Well, you know, man, no blood, no foul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wind might have had something to do with that. I don't think she heard you. Yeah, I tried to go yell at the at the uh, timekeeper. Good interception by Emily. Well, really smart passes there. I th yeah, casting the substituted number 11 in. I don't know who went out. Could have a good look, kick it ahead.
ball went yeah, clear ball under the stuck, gas bleachers. Stuck under the bleacher. Have they now lost both of the other balls? One's gone in the field. Yeah, I only see one. Under 10 minutes now left. Jake, is it possible that we both hallucinated that valley goal? Yeah, it was, I don't, I think they just forgot, <laughs> forgot to add it. I guess, I mean, I didn't see anything that they would like get rid of the goal for. Man, I guess maybe. Out of show now. Mm. Into triple coverage. They're all over them. It's almost like they know that a lot of our key plays go through how to show. <laughs> they found out that that's maybe a yellow card. Look at that, a yellow card. possible way for somebody to get a broken or bloody nose <laughs> in, in the soccer. sport, right? <laughs> yeah. Someone call a timeout. Sometimes it's a little hard to keep track of that ball on this little bitty viewfinder on this camera. Yeah, it's, it's windy too. I don't know, in this game I almost could uh, keep the camera on the visitor stands over there and I would have had the ball in frame several times. Yeah, really, it's been over there a lot. Left on the clock. 1-1 one, one, if I believe. I think so. Hopefully I didn't hallucinate it. I know that I saw a goal. Now <laughs> what we may have missed is a reason for the referees to take that Get goal it, away. Yeah. Although I would think that the Valley fans down here to our left would have had some serious things to say about that. Yeah. And I don't recall hearing anything like that. Thomas just need to score another goal and it won't matter. 
Looks like we might. Now he's yeah. got a good look. Uh, I think he thought Colby was behind him. Reed about takes out the referee. <laughs> Brady Evans is out for Noah, and Edgar is out for Alex. Show the good take. Mm, good save by the goalie. Jake, I noticed it getting kind of dark out here. I look back over my shoulder and uh, yeah, looks, my, there's some rain coming. <laughs> hopefully that holds off long enough for us to get our gear torn down. That would be amazing. I'd have to send some sincere apologies to uh, my producers. Yeah, really. <laughs> very, Computers very don't go well with rain. Shh, we're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> Well, he did get it in the net. Yeah, it was a good look. Three minutes left on the clock now. Brandon Bree has a shot. Oh, he takes it. Well, it's looking like if it is 1-1, one, one, we might have to go to a shootout. Yeah, just over two minutes left in the game on the clock. So either we're wrong or we were right and our, our uh, timekeepers are wrong and we'll be going into shootout. We'll know in about a minute 55. Yeah. A good look by How to Show. That was a good look. Just didn't quite get things lined up. Mm, 
Offsides, probably. Yeah. 60 seconds left on the clock now. That might have been the last chance to score. Brandon kicks it ahead. Bo's got it. I think he's going to try and get Yeah. Get Valley to kick it clear or kick it out so he gets a chance with it. I don't know, 21 seconds. Yeah, the time, time is going down. We got to speed it up. I can guess we're getting right here a horn. I think they're shaking hands. Okay, well, it looks like I our, guess it our was one zero. timekeepers were right. I owe her an apology. I'm glad I didn't at her on uh, on TV. Too much. <laughs> that's what happens. Actually, no, I was going to say that's what happens when you have the cross-country coach commentating soccer, but even faked out the soccer player. Yeah, I didn't even... I so, don't, well... I didn't even see him raise her hand or anything. I... Didn't either. Not sure what we missed there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully Coach Sanchez remembers to come up and talk to us. Uh, we're going to give him a couple minutes to get up here, and we're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors in the meanwhile. Stay tuned for the post-game wrap-up with Coach Sanchez on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Enjoy full-screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app our new Roku channel or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for sticking around for our post-game wrap-up. And Coach Sanchez, congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, okay, so I've got to admit, now I'm the cross-country coach. You can anticipate me being confused. Uh, it even faked out your boy, Jake, though. What happened to that? Uh, I know I saw Valley score. What 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 happened there? Offside. I think their striker got a little ahead of the defense on that back line. And fortunately for us, oh, absolutely. the flag went up and goal didn't count. Okay, yeah, we missed that. We missed the uh, flag entirely, and uh, I'm, I'm sure that our timekeeper probably thought I was an idiot too because I asked about that. <laughs> anyway, um, so you had said earlier that um, that it could have been a win. It depended on all of our guys and gals uh, playing the game they knew how to play. And uh, so how would you feel about the performance tonight? It looked really evenly matched from up here. Well, yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. I mean, um, a win's a win. Whether we win ugly or we win pretty, <laughs> a win's a win. Um, but I would say that the old adage, win ugly today, definitely fit. I don't think we were very good through the phases. I think we left a lot of chance, a lot of goals in the back of their, that should have been in the back of the net, didn't make it today. We just didn't connect well at all today at all. Chemistry's off. How much, uh, how much did the win play an effect in that? Well, I think it definitely played a factor for the teams that were going not into the wind, but away, right? right. Where the ball right. was carrying a little bit. But even so, I don't think we took advantage of it very well in the second half. And I think Valley did do a good job of right. using that wind to their advantage. I, I From up here, it looked like Valley is, if anything, they forgot to compensate for the wind in their back. And I saw a lot of high power kicks from them um, where they sent things sailing. So anyway, like you said, uh, an ugly win or a pretty win, a win's a win. So congratulations. Absolutely. Congratulations to the guys and gals. Thank you for uh, thank you for getting up here. I know you had to climb all the way to the top of the crow's nest tonight. It's like Everest up here. It, it is. It is so windy up here. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at home. Coach, thanks for coming up. Hey, appreciate Congratulations it. again. Me. And uh, we're going to try to get stuff torn down before we have wet computer equipment because I don't feel like buying any of this. Thanks, Coach. I can help say Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us. Uh, I'm Blair Zimmerman. I was joined on the other headset tonight for the first time ever, ever by Jake Passion. Jake, thanks yeah. for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, can't wait to do some more soccer with you. Yeah. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, tune in tomorrow night as the cast and comments journeys to North Judson for some football action. Uh, Pre-game show will start at 5.30, and then we'll go on air with live football coverage at 7 o'clock. Until next time, I'm Blair Zimmerman. This is Casting TV on RTC TV4.